Okay, our next example of uh, direct proportion functions is very similar to uh, previous examples. Um, here we're told the quantity y is directly proportional to the quantity x, uh, and the constant of proportionality k is 8 fifths. Um, and we want to find x when y is 24. So uh, normally we would be uh, finding the value of y, uh, given a value of x, uh, because x is the input quantity and y is the output quantity in this direct proportion function. Uh, but we've turned the situation around here slightly, uh, and we're going to be given the output, uh, and we want to find instead um, the matching uh, input. All right, so because uh, y is uh, directly proportional to x, we know from previous examples that um, y is uh, related to x by a formula of the following uh, type. Um, uh, and um, um, uh, in this formula, a uh, very simple formula, uh, y is just a coefficient, a constant, times x. Uh, and this uh, constant uh, k is referred to as the constant of proportionality. And we're given the constant of proportionality. In this example, we're told it's 8 fifths. So we can fill that uh, easily into the formula. And so here's the complete formula for this direct proportion function. Uh, we just have that y is 8 fifths uh, times x. All right, now we can use that formula uh, to determine y given an x value, or in this case also to determine x when we're given a y value. Um, so um, let's determine x as instructed here when y is 24. So that's a simple matter of substituting uh, 24 uh, for y in our um, <coughs> proportion formula and then simply solving uh, the resulting equation for x. So we have that uh, 24 is equal to 8 fifths uh, times x and I just want to solve this equation for x. So one way of uh, isolating x uh, in this equation uh, is to um, multiply uh, both sides of this equation by the reciprocal of this uh, constant of proportionality 8 fifths. Uh, and so that reciprocal of 8 fifths is 5 eighths. Uh, of course, we have to multiply that on both sides of the equation. And uh, so on the right-hand side of the equation, when we multiply 8 fifths x times uh, 5 eighths, uh, well, when you carry out this multiplication, the 5s will divide out and the 8s will divide out. So on the right-hand side of the equation, we'll just get x. And uh, now let's see if we can carry out this computation on the left-hand side of the equation. So 5 8 uh, times 24 is going to be 5 times uh, 24 uh, divided by 8. And uh, we can uh, simplify this uh, quotient easily uh, by first dividing 8 into 24 because 8 goes into 24 uh, three times, and then multiplying uh, 5 times 3. So we get here that x is equal to um, 15. So that's it. Um, when y is 24 in this particular direct proportion, uh, x is going to be uh, 15.